What's up guys, in today's tutorial we're going to be expanding on for loops inside of Roblox Studio. We're going to be covering iPairs and pairs inside of scripting. So in order to start, let's go right over here to server script service, open that up and there should be that script that we have inside of here. If you don't, you can feel free to add a script by simply clicking on the plus icon to the right of server script service after hovering over it and just search for a script. And then once you click on that, it will add in a fresh new script for you. However, I don't need to do that as I already have one inside of here. Anyways, as I was saying, we can click on this script and we are now inside of our script right here. So I already touched on this a little bit inside of the table tutorial. There are these two different types of tables. So there we have our first one. Let's call it our fruits array. This is going to just be a pair of braces right here or curly brackets as you might have heard them be called. Now an array is sort of like a list of values. So we can have, let's just put certain fruits in here like bananas. Let's do one for oranges, one for cherries. So this is what we call an array. It's just a ton of different values inside of this table. Important thing to know about this is that we'll store them inside of a specific order. So bananas will be one, oranges will be two, and cherries will be three. And just to let you know, we're not limited to just strings inside of these. We can also put numbers inside of here. We can put booleans inside of here. And we can even put parts and stuff. So we can say game.workspace.spawn location. We can do all sorts of fun things. So that's an array inside of Roblox. We also have something called a dictionary. So let me say fruit dictionary. And this is going to be equal to another pair of braces or curly brackets. Except this time we actually assign keys to these values. So we kind of have a keyword which acts sort of like a variable inside of our table. Let me just drop a line right here. So let's start off with our first keyword. We're going to say favorite fruit is going to be equal to bananas. I put a comma right here. Let's do least favorite fruit. And this is going to be equal to oranges. And then let's get another one for, I don't know, we can just say fruit for this. And this is going to be equal to cherries. So we have three different keywords right here, which each have an associated value to them. And this is what we call a dictionary. So that's all that you need to know between the difference between a dictionary and an array. What we're going to be getting into with I pairs and pairs is that I pairs used to loop through an array like this fruits array that we have up here specifically works with arrays where items are stored with numeric indices starting at one and incrementing by one sort of like a shopping list where each item has a number next to it you can think of it like that so let's go ahead and get started on that for now we're just going to say for I comma let's say fruit in I pairs with parentheses and now inside of these parentheses the array that we wish to loop through so I'm gonna say our fruits array right here and then do so this is how we use I pair in this example I right here represents the index of the item in the array so instead of just saying I we can actually write index and this second value right here or fruit represents the value stored at that index so let's go ahead and write a print statement so our index with colon right here, and we're gonna use string concatenation to concatenate our index with this string right here. So that will get our index of the value that we're looping through at the moment. And then I'm also just going to say fruit colon dot dot, and this will be fruit. So let's go ahead and click on the view tab on the top and open up the output. Now we can go back to the home tab and then click on run by clicking on this little drop down menu and clicking on run. So as you can see inside of the output, it's saying index one fruit bananas, index two fruit oranges, and index three fruit cherries. So you can see it's getting the index of the actual value. So the index will be one for bananas. And you can see that the fruit actually is the value that that index was at. So the fruit will be one for bananas, it'll be two for oranges, and three for cherries, basically. A good way to think of I pairs is like counting the items in your shopping list one by one. Or index is like the numbers on your list where you have one, two, three, and four. And then the fruit or the next value right here, whatever you want to call it, is like the item you pick up at each number. Now let's get rid of this for loop right here. And we're going to say something different this time. So for this, I'm going to say 4k, comma, and this is going to be fruit in pairs, just pairs with parentheses. And this is going to be our fruit dictionary. And we're going to do this. 
So some cool things to note right here is that we normally use pairs to go over dictionaries because pairs doesn't iterate in any specific order, but it goes over all key value pairs, such as these ones. You have the key and the value. With I pairs, it was going over very specifically, as you can see, it's got the one, two, three, and each of those values with it inside of the index. And that's great and all, but it's best to use pairs for dictionaries and I pairs for arrays most typically. So for this K right here, let me just rename it the key in all honesty. Key is going to represent the key or the keyword that we use right here. So in this case, it'd be favorite fruit, least favorite fruit, fruit, etc. for however many you have. So let's go ahead and print out key. Well, let's say the key will be this with key. We're just going to concatenate key with the key string right here. And then we're also just going to add our value, which will be our fruit. So I guess we can also rename this to value instead of fruit. So we have key value in pairs fruit dictionary. So let's go ahead and run this and see what happens. As you can see, it's going to say our key is favorite fruit and the value is bananas. And the same with key fruit, value cherries, key least favorite fruit, value oranges. Now, something important to note about this is you can see that it wasn't actually in a specific order like I pairs was. In I pairs, it went from one all the way up to three. But in this, it started out with bananas, which is great because we have bananas as the first item, but then it went straight to cherries as the second one, which is not as it is inside of our dictionary. And then it went to oranges for third when that is the second one. So as you can see, it doesn't go in any specific order at all. So you can think of pairs as going through a collection of keys and their associated values, just like in this dictionary right here. Another good way to think about it is sort of like going through a phone book, if you guys have heard of those, where key is the name inside of the phone book, and then value right here is the corresponding phone number to that name inside of the phone book, basically. That's a good way to think about it. So once again, in summary, guys, I pairs is for looping through ordered lists, like shopping lists, while pairs are for looping through unordered collections like dictionaries or phone books. I think that's going to be it for today's tutorial. So if you enjoyed, please make sure to leave a like, subscribe, and comment down below. It helps the channel out. It's completely free and it's just a fun thing to do. So make sure you like, subscribe, all that stuff. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.